So before I turned on the camera, I didn't know whether to make this into an update video or a rant video. I think it's going to be an update video. As you guys can see by the title, my Phantom 4 Pro is currently out of commission. My everyday drone, the one that I fly all the time, the one that I've logged the most hours in on. Uh, basically earlier today, I was trying to fly at one of my dad's job sites. He had guys taking down trees. I mean, really tall trees. It was really cool and I think it would have been an awesome perspective to capture from the air. As I booted up the Phantom 4 Pro, it said that I had an ESC error, uh, the electronic speed controller. So I was like, all right, let me just try to reboot it. I probably restarted it five times, and every single time, the front left motor was twitching, it was beeping, and it kept giving me that error. Uh, this is pretty much what happened. I'll show you a quick clip. Now for those of you who aren't familiar with what the ESC is, is the electronic speed controller and it basically translates the pilot's movements into actions on the motors on the drone. I'll include a link down below, it actually has a whole entire page of what the ESC does and it's located on DJI's website so I think it's a pretty good resource for everybody to read just to kind of get familiar with some of the internals of your drone. Anyway, getting back to the purpose of this whole entire video, I want to give you guys a quick timeline so you guys understand the sequence of events. So Sunday morning, woke up, had a lacrosse game. Sunday night, I went and helped my friend Tommy film a quick video for his marketing class and I used my drone. I took off, landed, packed the drone up, everything was fine, went home Sunday night. Monday morning, I woke up, went to my dad's job site, tried to fly, got the ESC error, I went back to my dad's house, I tried everything, firmware update, IMU calibration, talking to the online support through DJI's website, nothing worked, so therefore I determined it needed to be sent out for repair, there was really nothing I could do, it was out of my hands, uh, so as of right now, it is Monday night, I'm making this video, and you guys are watching it on Tuesday, and it is en route to California. Thank God it's not going to China because I feel like it would have just taken forever for it to actually get back in my hands. And I'm hoping that it's only going to be around a two-week turnaround as far as getting the Phantom 4 Pro back in my possession. After the initial reaction that I had, after the drone wouldn't work, and after having to send it out through UPS to DJI's repair facility, um, I kind of cooled down a little bit. I kind of realized that I can't be mad at anyone Really, it's not my fault I didn't crash it, it's not somebody else's fault they didn't crash my drone, and it's really not even DJI's fault. I mean, this stuff happens, it's an internal malfunction, and again, it could have just burnt out over time. I mean, I really have put a lot of stress on this thing. Uh, so again, I'm sitting back and I'm mad that it happened, but I really can't be mad at anyone. And to be honest, I think I got lucky. Because if the ESC failed while I was flying around and it was actually up in the air, the drone would have just come tumbling down. Uh, and that would have definitely been worst case scenario, so I'm glad that it happened before I actually flew the drone and not while it was actually in the air. Two quick points I want to make before kind of doing a conclusion for this video. First of all, I'm very thankful I have other drones to fly. I've got the Mavic and I've got the Spark to have fun with and make videos with. But honestly, the Phantom 4 Pro was my favorite drone. It was my daily workhorse. I feel like I have a sentimental attachment to that thing. And to send it off, it was hard, honestly. I mean, I made sure that thing was bubble wrapped, had newspaper wrapped around it, had a big box to send it off in. I feel like I'm sending off my baby. So again, I am very upset I had to set off the Phantom 4 Pro, but again, I've got the Mavic and Spark to fly around and of course make videos for you guys. Now the other point I want to make is about DJI support. A lot of people always complain about them, always say that they're never helpful, but honestly in this situation and in situations I've had in the past, they've been nothing but helpful. Maybe some people you know, have bad experiences, but all of my experiences have been pretty good, and sometimes I think you just need to have a little bit of leeway. I feel like sometimes the people who are saying that DJI support sucks are the people that don't get their way, and in this case, I didn't get my way. I had to send my drone off to be repaired, but I know that it's coming back, and of course, I do have the Mavic and Spark to fly, and everything in the end is going to work out okay. Anyway guys, the real reason I wanted to make this video is just to update you guys on some things going on. So again, the Phantom 4 Pro is being shipped over to California. I'm really not sure how they determine whether it goes to California to be repaired or China to be repaired. I was talking to Bill from Coast to Coast Drones, someone I talk to every day about YouTube and drones, and he said that he thinks that some of the worst cases, like maybe a broken camera or like a mutilated body of the actual drone will go over to China to be fixed, and then some of the smaller cases will stay here in the States 
states and go over to California. So again, I'm not sure how they divvy that up. If you guys know, leave it down in the comments. I would be interested to hear. But again, I'm glad it's going to San Francisco and not all the way back to China. I'll keep you guys updated along this process. Let you guys know if I get any emails from them and let you guys know when it's actually going to be back in my possession and do a little test flight to see if everything is okay. I know I have to do like an IMU calibration, make sure the firmware is up to date. Uh, but again, right now, Phantom 4 Pro is out of commission. No videos on that for the next coming weeks and hopefully it's not over a month. I feel like that might be a possibility. But again, who knows? I'll keep you guys updated. You guys are going to be seeing a lot more videos of Mavic and Spark coming up and I hope that I get the Phantom 4 Pro back soon. But guys, anyway, hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, I'll talk to you later. Peace.